Welcome to Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole. This podcast is a conversation between two business partners, Joanne Kandrak and Kelly Cole. Join us for a lively conversation about all things interior design, from current projects, trade show experiences, worldwide travel, what's in, what's out, and all the challenges and wins they've had running their successful design business. Whether you're a seasoned interior designer, new to the industry, or a creative enthusiast, you will walk away with insightful information, newfound inspiration, and a smile on your face after listening to these two. And here they are, Joanne and Kelly. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is episode 153 of Inside Design with Kandrak and Cole. And today, we are talking about kitchen and bath trends as shared with us from the latest Kitchen and Bath show. So the 2023 Kitchen and Bath industry show, referred to as KBiz, just wrapped up in Las Vegas. And this event is the source for emerging kitchen and bath trends. They had over 40,000 visitors this year. Amazing. And it's one of the largest gatherings of kitchen and bath designers, architects, developers, and buyers in the show's 60 year history, they had an amazing turnout. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, we were not one of those 40,000 people because we have been heads down working our tails off for our upcoming bucket list trip to Morocco and Portugal. So have no fear though. We called our buddies and we got the scoop. So uh, they came to the rescue and we're gonna share all that KBIS had to offer this year. Yeah. Really, really good one. Yeah. But before that, we're going to talk about our sponsor, which is the High Point Market Authority. They're the largest home furnishings market in the country, and we highly recommend you attend. Yes. Registration is now open for the upcoming April market, uh, which runs April 22nd to the 26th. If you are with the trade and you are not familiar or comfortable tackling High Point on your own, be sure to register for the free Insiders Tour, which Kelly and I are one group of leaders. Um, they are doing something different this year and they're going to be having three half day tours as well on Friday, the 21st, and then the full day tours on Saturday, April 22nd. So we'll be hosting a curated tour complete with lunch on Saturday. So be sure to sign up, sign up. So check them out. Highpointmarket.org. Yes. All right. So. First off, before we kind of dive into like a whole bunch of stuff, we're going to hear from a few of our friends that called in through our website. And we're going to start with Leslie Carruthers from Savor. uh, I never know how to say it. Savor Partnership. Savor Partnership. Sorry, Leslie, don't kill me. Um, So let's hear what she had to say. Hi, this is Leslie Carruthers, principal of Saver Partnership at Leslie M. Carruthers over on IG. And my favorite product from KBiz 2023 was from a company called Shelfology. Their specialty is in making custom brackets for anything that you need to have float. So let's say, for instance, that you have a floating fireplace mantle and you want a custom bracket for it in a particular color or size or shape, this is the company that can do that for you. They also have a wide range of black shelf brackets that are in stock, ready to ship the next day, which is great to know. And I have a reel over on my IG feed showing you what they actually look like. So I invite you to take a peek at that. And I wanna say thank you, Joanne and Kelly, for having me on. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of you choose. I love that. Yeah, it's great because even though it's a kitchen and bath show. Mm-hmm. There are a few little things like you. We're doing floating shelves, you know, when you have your typical fireplace and then you've got the bookcases on the side. So typical. We're doing floating shelves there. Mm-hmm. I think people are using them. You know, they're great above a potty in a bathroom to mm-hmm. put things. So it's nice to learn about different companies. I've never heard of them. KBiz, when you go, the show is in conjunction with the builder show. So if you cross kind of over through the convention center, then the vibe changes a little bit and it's it's more builder stuff which is still but there's just as cool you can find so, some good stuff there yeah yeah we just we just installed some shelves i don't think it was with um shelfology but it was the same kind of concept where there's this long metal piece with you know the spokes coming yeah. out and that goes into the wall and then the shelf has holes that go into right 
the 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 so rods super that are sturdy out. so sturdy and no brackets so pretty very clean look so pretty very clean and then there's you know wood metal there's like yeah. so many different things you can do very cool thank okay. you leslie thank you leslie next up is elizabeth scruggs she is a designer and a Construction, construction superior contractor, construction. yeah, mm -hmm. superior construction design. She's in Nashville, and she's talking about OneClickContractor.com. Let's hear about this one. Hey, y'all, it's Elizabeth Scruggs from Superior Construction and Design right outside of Nashville. We missed seeing y'all at KBiz this year. It was a great show. One of my favorite tools that I found was actually on the Builder Show side, and it's called One Click Contractor, and it's software. And I know this is geared more toward remodeling, um, but it's got some really great aspects for designers as well. And so what the software does is it allows you to remotely take measurements of a space. Your client, you can walk your client through it on their cell phone. And when it comes back to you, you can send it into the software and they will in 24 hours return you accurate measurements and line drawings of the space to within one quarter of an inch. To me, that's just a game changer. You can also enter your items and it will generate an estimate. And where I think this would be really beneficial for a designer is getting accurate room measurements and you can get them in 24 hours and you don't even have to be in the home. So it's really great if, you know, someone's not ready to have people back in their home yet, but you can help them by having the measurements and gives you a step ahead um, with that. So anyway, I thought that was really cool and I think it can be really beneficial. So hope y'all are doing well. That's so cool. Another I, thing I've never heard of. I know. And we get really scared of I was new say, technology with a learning curve. Well, we're I, I was going to say, like, we're kind of anal. We're very controlling when it comes to the way we do our measurements. So, you know, it would be a big learning curve for us. But how nice, especially if you were doing like an out-of-town job or something. Totally. Where you really just needed the measurements. Or I love that you can put the images in there or anything that makes your life easier. You know, a, a and digital an an job folder. Because every, yeah. every tiny centimeter matters yeah yeah that's so cool that's so cool thank you elizabeth Thanks. um and then next we have uh alejandra thompson de jordan she is our buddy from thompson traders one of our most favorite manufacturers of bespoke uh sinks and vent hoods and all kinds of beautiful things for the kitchen and she had a lot of favorites to share with us this is Alejandra Thompson de Jordan from Thompson Traders, and I'm very happy to share with you my personal top five from KBiz 2023. So number one, far and away, the leading thing that gave me the most happiness at this KBiz was getting to see everyone. KBiz was booming. There were so many people there, and we got to see our favorite designer friends and some of our favorite industry partners and all the people we love so much. In terms of product, I would say my personal favorite was getting to see so much color. The Kohler Pastel Rainbow Toilet Display. I've never seen toilets look so beautiful and so inviting. The Smeg refrigerators were gorgeous. And then the cafe booth, the Magenta Kitchen, and their window displays reminded me of the Bergdorf Holiday Windows. My number three is Everything Monogram. Richard Anishavitz, oh my gosh, again, incredible job with Monogram. And Julie Burns, the director, the ED there, is really taking the brand in the most amazing direction. Number four, I was wowed by the ceiling mount faucet in the Kohler booth. It's so simple and elegant, and it looks so easy to use and still surprising. I loved it. And then number five, because I'm a fashion person, I loved the Samsung shoe dresser. I just want one personally to keep my nice shoes in the best condition possible. She's so awesome. And you know yeah. what was so what's so great about that is Thompson Traders is an exhibitor yeah. at the show, but she never talked about talk their company, which yeah. I is so yeah. them. They're so humble and I I love yeah. them dearly. But yeah, she she had a lot. Yes. Well, the you know, I think everybody talked about that Kohler pull down box. Yeah. And we actually yes. got to see that in person when we were in Kohler, but just very cool. It just kind of suspends and you could do it. It's just kind of a fun kind of a thing mm -hmm. but the Kohler toilets as well a lot of people were were showing those on Instagram they had I don't know maybe they had five or six different ones that they brought back from when I don't know maybe from their archives from their archives mm -hmm. and they they took a vote and we're going to pick two to bring back yes I think they come out this summer yes and, and we'll, we'll so talk about that a little bit later we but, will yes okay 
I did the outline. Can okay, you tell? yes, the idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, she um they they had everybody vote. And it's funny because when we were there, our 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 Jennifer took us through the archives when we were at the Kohler campus in Wisconsin and we saw all the old We did see them. The the greens and the and the blush pinks and all the ones yeah. and she was telling us that they, they were, were gonna, gonna come out. It's yep. called the Heritage Collection. So yeah, so that was really very cool. cool. And also it doesn't surprise me that Monogram was hitting on all cylinders because when we were there, Ugh. were we there last year? We were there last year. Mo the monogram booth was incredible. There was a line to walk through it, and that usually isn't the case. Yes, like you can their, see everything. Their but innovation is yeah. is totally amazing. Yeah. So all right. So this this little shoe dresser. Yes. Couldn't quite figure out what those. So I had to go look it up. I yeah. did do some research. So it deodorizes and kind of cleans your. Oh, shoes. that's awesome. Yeah. So it's almost kind of like the. The LG Styler, where yeah. it just refreshes and deodorizes. So, like, yeah, if you have sweaty feet nice. or whatever, yeah, it keeps them in good shape. Yeah, that's cool. Well, thanks for everybody that um, that called in. We're mm -hmm. still going to keep going with our trends because we always there's always great blogs and summaries out there on the trends as soon as KBiz is over. And so, in case you didn't tap into any of those, we want to kind of yeah. regurgitate them for you. Yeah, and unlike High Point, which shows twice a year. KBIS is just once a year in January. Mm -hmm. This is like really the only chance that these people have to kind of show their stuff. Yeah. So um, we hate to miss it, but we always get, you know, there's so many people out there reporting, you know, what's new. So we we got some information some from other friends and some blogs and stuff. So, yeah. So let's talk about finishes mm -hmm. because a new finish came out, which doesn't surprise me. And I'm sure people at home are going, no, I cannot <laughs> deal. Like, I don't even know what to do now. There's so many choices, but just hold tight. It's all beautiful and you can mix them. So don't worry. But a new finish called graphite nickel. So kind of like a, like a sleek charcoal, kind of like the black. I was just going to say, steel, is that like more, a take on the black stainless? I think because, it's a little bit more edgier, a little darker, a little bit more sophisticated. Well, what I think is I think you can mix that graphite nickel of course. with silver yes. or gold or black. Yes. So absolutely. I kind of love that. I love that. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Okay. And okay. I know you love this trend. Comment. Tambour wood. Yes. Okay. So never even knew what that was. Mm -hmm. We were working on a multifamily project and I was looking for some nice kind of textured way to treat a wall. And I found an image and I sent it to our guy who does our stuff. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's tambour wood. Yeah, we can do that, blah, blah, OK, so that's the end of that. Then we go to the House Beautiful show yes. house. Whole house project. Uh-huh. And Mark. Williams. Uh, Mark Williams. Uh-huh. See, she's, she's really helped me out today. <laughs> Mark Williams did an amazing master and then his. Uh, vanities yes. had that tambour. And the, what, what uh, the bedside tables too, yeah. I think. It's spelled T-A-M-B-O-U-R. Mm -hmm. And they're little slats, usually rounded. Mm -hmm. that they it's make slatted wood. Yeah, that they make designs out of. And mm -hmm. a lot of times you'll see it in a lighter wood. Yes. It's really pretty, but I guess a lot of the you vanities. You can see it in herring, but all yep. different kinds of patterns and and, and yep. shapes. But that was on curved and and flat surfaces, especially vanities, and yes. um, especially they look really good on floating vanities. Yes. But I was so psyched to see. You know, it was funny too. Before. We went to the Japur Living new open show house, house, new show, mm -hmm. and their new showroom. Their, sorry, um, here in um, Ackworth, their, Georgia. Yes, their reception desk was the table. Oh, yes, wood. it was. It's, see, but you start to see this. Yeah, stuff. when you when you know it, you start seeing it. Yep. Yes, and then. Uh, this doesn't surprise me because we saw it last year. And you know when you see things repeat that they're here for a while. Yeah. And just side mark, when, when a company like Monogram, LG, Samsung, Kohler, Brizo, when they invest, when they decide yeah. through all of their R&D to invest in a certain finish, a certain style, then you know it's here to stay for a while because they wouldn't invest that much yeah. money if yeah. it wasn't completely legit. So I say that because when we see things repeat, it's just a it kind yeah. of makes you feel better that. And I think people, when they're always dealing with resale, they're so worried to do something yes. that might like have an accent. So what we're talking about is a lot of green yes. and wood cabinets. Yes. And so you would think, well, green, what if somebody wouldn't like that? But if something is well done, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that every single cabinet needs to be green, maybe just the, you know, maybe just the, the island or maybe just, but I have seen them full green too. Mm -hmm. um, then I think that it becomes almost like a neutral. We just designed and a kitchen where the, 
Island is going to be a very Sherwin Williams deep Rosemary. Rosemary. Um, so apropos, mm -hmm. um, a deep rosemary color on the island. And then we took it into the cabinets in the back kitchen because they've got a, the scullery kitchen that we were talking about in our in our last episode on on uh, trends from the show houses. So, yeah. so yeah. And I hate to say this because I have one, but they're saying white kitchens are kind of out. Well, I'm so sorry. I, I know, yeah. but I think yeah. um, you can jazz yeah. that up in so if many ways. I wouldn't yeah. panic about that. If you're that. starting new, mm -hmm. you might not want to go some with fun. the white kitchen. Have some fun. Yeah. yeah. And then metal cabinets. And I thought this was really interesting because when we were at yep. the Atlanta America's March show mm -hmm. in January, we were talking to our friends at Etu Home. And they have a new metal cabinet line that's very European. And yes. It's meant to, you know, you wouldn't do your whole kitchen in it. But maybe you would do a bar or a pantry or a yeah. specialty corner, a coffee bar, whatever of of metal, not and it's glass more, fronts. It's more like you know. bistro shelving. But, but what, bistro. What, yeah. what I love about it, and it's usually the glass, and usually it's in the dark metal, mm -hmm. you know, framed out. But I love it's a way of kind of like open shelving, but no dust. Yes. So yes. I kind of love that idea. It just looks really pretty. Yes. And if you um, heard our last high point show back from last October and we'll I'm sure we'll repeat ourselves in April color 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 is coming in in huge ways in appliances and plumbing washers I mean, and dryers oh like my gosh yes so um true residential has added appliance colors in Blue stone, which is kind of like a bluey gray, saffron, which is a you know a deep golden yellow, emerald, and cobalt to their build your own true program. That is I mean, so cool. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah. I love that. I, I mean, that. yeah, you got to marry into that. But hey, if you love it and it's like your favorite color and it just makes you smile and makes you so happy, freaking do it, right? Yeah. I it's, mean, look at how pretty that is. Yeah. We have it on screen. If you're watching us on YouTube, you'll see a lot of what we're talking about coming up on the screen. Oh, gosh. Look at those kitchens. Anyway, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So. All right. So then going back to the Kohler toilet. Uh -huh. So they dug through their archives and it is the Heritage Collection. So the two that won. Yes. Um, Spring Green, uh -huh. which uh, came out in 1927. That's so awesome. And the other one, which is really pretty, Peach Blow. And that's from 1924. And they will be available not only in toilets but bath and sink this summer that's so awesome i mean that's so awesome i don't know it just like speaks to to me these trends kind of speak to the mood of america at the time you know and i think people are like really like reaching for happiness you know yep so okay then Another trend, and I, I swear, we talk about the, this a lot about like pandemic driven trends that we're still seeing come to fruition. But one is the great kitchen expansion. Everything's just getting Wide. bigger as people stay home and they, they kind of enjoy their homes, especially cooking yep. more than ever. And I just don't think that the single refrigerator is what many people are doing anymore. I think True. they're, they're double. I mean, yep. With places like Costco and things like that, people, you know, you can buy bigger things and you can put them in there. Nobody wants to go to the grocery store every other day. Mm -hmm. Well, our culture doesn't do that. Yeah. But. So Monogram introduced a 96 high refrigerator panel. So better scaled for like lofty, mm -hmm. lofty kitchens and stuff. And then there were also, they were showing joining kits. So literally refrigerators um, join or connected side by side. So you literally can have like a whole wall spanning of refrigeration. Basically you kind of your wine yeah, and then yeah. your fridge and then another wine cabinet. And just, then just knock down the wall where the dining room is <laughs> and just have a wall of refrigeration. There you go. There you go. And they're so pretty that it looks good. It's not like, you know, yeah. a lot of them have pure glass fronts and, and it's, it's not like you have a wall of steel. They're much yeah. prettier than that. Yeah. And then Signature Kitchen Suite, which we love, they came out with a 48-inch French door wide. refrigerator. Wide. A big wide. dude. Yeah. Yep. Can you imagine? Yep. That's awesome. That's yep. awesome. Yep. And I know you're happy about this. Oh, I'm so happy about this because we just dealt with the situation. But Cambria Countertops yes. has come out with enlarged slabs that are up to 136 inches by 80 inches. So that means no seams. 
No seams in a mega island. In a mega slab. That is so great. Really nice. Yeah. Really I mean, nice. you know, seams aren't the end of the world, but some people it really bothers them. And we and we've had some trouble sometimes with matching finishes when the slabs get put together. But um yeah. Amazing. Those will those will do really well. Yep. And then this is funny. I, I love seeing this. Workstations for in kitchen and laundry are getting bigger and more. I love these. I know you love these. I love these. The ga um, galley sinks or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe that maybe that's the brand name. What do we do what? for Cindy Murphy's house? It wasn't galley, but it was. It was a long trough sink that had all the different pieces that you could put inside. So they, they're really workhorse sinks. They, yeah, like one section you, is kind of metal and you can put ice in there and put drinks in. Then you can chop up things over there. Then, then you use another. Like it's just you can m mix and match and move things all around and it's really wide. I think hers was 48. Mm -hmm. But they, they can We had the two whole. big faucets. Yeah. So because her husband, she and her husband like to um, cook and clean side by side. Yeah. And then the other thing that they came out with was a laundry workstation, mm -hmm. which is super deep. Yes. Yeah, Smart. it was um, deep. And then they were, um, oh, I'm sorry to the manufacturers. I can't remember what faucet it was, but um, where the faucet from the laundry room had a really long hose. So you've got the big sink, the big deep sink, and you yeah. can really, you know, rinse, rinse and, and move that whole faucet all around. So- yeah. Yeah. We're never going to leave our homes at some point. I'm glad we are in the industry we are in. <laughs> I know. And I love how they're always in reinventing. Yes. There's always new stuff. You don't get yeah. tired. Yeah. So, it's awesome. Um, once again, pandemic driven wellness yep. was a big deal. All day long. Big deal. And we've talked about steam showers before. That is kind of like the ultimate. Mm -hmm. um, with, but now they're coming out with, well, they've already had chromotherapy and... Mm -hmm. um, What's the other one? They yeah, have? aromatherapy, yeah, aromatherapy, aromatherapy, and audio therapy. Audio therapy yeah. 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 So Brizo, our friends at Brizo, who we adore, and Delta, who is with under the Brizo, the, under the Delta and Brizo are, are one company. But um, Brizo debuted their uh, a new release. It's called the Sensory Plus Digital Thermostatic Custom Shower System. So. I'm gonna, just going to read this because I'll mess it up. But customization takes on a whole new look with the shower system, including four user profiles with multiple presets to control temperature, flow, duration, and optional audio therapy and chroma therapy spa options. And then they also have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connect to virtual home assistants. So literally, you can control your shower with voice activation using um, any Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, um, anything. So you have- I'd be saying, Alexa, I mean, shave my legs. <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine like being like user one? Because like Mike takes it a much very, hotter it, shower than it, me. It's very, so, jet, it's very Jetson-ish, to be honest. It, I mean, it's, it's ultimate luxury. luxury. It's the luxury ultimate luxury. People. I mean- if you're going for a new shower system, you don't know what you don't know. So, you know, think about these things. But, I mean, there are showers these these days that we go into. They're like playgrounds. And literally, mm -hmm. how nice to have user, um, user yeah. buttons because maybe, you know, you, the husband likes the rain shower. The wife just wants the regular shower. Maybe one person likes all the body sprays on. The other person doesn't, you know. Yeah. And then you have certain music that comes on. And imagine if you like come into your shower and you're brushing your teeth and you can tell Alexa to turn on your shower and get it all ready for yeah. you. Alexa, right? Joanne, coming in. Yes. <laughs> and I like it hot. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's just, I know. That's so it's cool. like the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then Legrand and Microban, they introduced something called the Adorn Collection. And it's all different kinds of switches. You have to go to their website. Yes. Um, but you can operate them from your phone just like everything else. So like let's just say you're in, you're pulling into the garage and you can say turn on the lights in the kitchen and the hallway and whatever. Another thing that's kind of like hands-free, mm -hmm. which a lot of things are going hands-free, but who would ever think switches? Right. So, so they – they and it's funny to see like, like – um, Legrand partnering with Microband because Microband, you know, obviously that's what they're 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 germa germaphobe manufacturer, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next one was Moen introduced a new shower, um, 
the Verso rain shower and they partner with Manatix and it's, my it's family, magnetics. magnetics, sorry. My family loves this. My daughter's are total germaphobes and they hate if they look up at the shower head and they see any gook on the shower head. Same with the faucets. So these shower heads are on on the magnetic, like magnetic dock, you know, mm -hmm. on the arm. So you can just pop it off and then wash it in vinegar and water, which is the best way to, to wash mm -hmm. um, shower heads and faucet nozzles, if you didn't know that. Um, and then pop it right back on. Duh. Yeah. I love that. Yep. Yeah. Just making things so so smart. Well, thank you to um thank thank you to the pandemic and all the wellness mm -hmm. goodness that we still have. You know what we missed here, but I just wanted to mention it really quickly because it might have been might have seen it when I was looking through something else. This capsule shape that everybody oh, yes, was talking yes. about. Yep. Yes. So it think about a capsule that you're taking, you know, which is kind of like a sideways like oval, mm -hmm. but they're doing it. Um, and all different kinds of yes. vanities and all different kinds. And even booze butcher blocks, which never change anything. Yes. They made their ca their butcher block in a capsule. Yes, um, I did read they, about that. Yeah. And the tambour looks especially good on yes. capsule, vanities, capsule. Remember yeah. when we were talking about the design, the things we learned from designer show houses, if you watch that episode, yeah, and so much the that. big island in the middle of the of the one kitchen was was capsule it was all rounded it wasn't a square sharp cornered island and it was yeah. so it's pretty. really pretty it's really yep. pretty okay yeah so, anyway no that's a good on. point yeah. because we knew that um we, we've been seeing curves coming in a lot from on things. furniture yep. um, when we got a high point so it's all connected um and then lastly organic textures we reached out to our friend carrie kelly who's the ceo and creative director of carrie kelly design studios in california and she's like the queen of capas and she always has so much good feedback for us but this didn't surprise me either because yeah. i feel like it goes hand in hand with the wellness component and also all of the woods that we're seeing come into the kitchens and and stuff but um you almost need to look it up because so it's called Riven Wood, R-I-V-E-N-W-O-D, mm -hmm. and it's a really slim, like stacked. So it's not like stacked stone, but it's like stacked wood pieces. Mm -hmm. And then some of the um, the the nails and whatever are kind of in there. So it's mm -hmm. got a lot of texture to it and a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of interesting things. It's the manufacturer is El Dorado Stone, yeah. But they also do it where it's a um, they take like reclaimed barn wood applications and they do it in brick and they're, I, I don't, I don't want to say, I guess they are, they have a, a component called the L'Oreal brick, which is a long format brick veneer. Mm -hmm. So basically what it's doing is bringing in all of this amazing character and texture when you need and texture, grit like behind, on the walls, like behind a bar or something yes. where you just don't really want maybe a flat, wherever you don't want. If you really look around, if you're looking at an empty home and everything is flat. Ugh, I can't stand that. So I think instead of doing a lot of the, the trim, you know, like the, um, you know, like the shiplap or the, they're using other kinds of textures mm -hmm. that really, you know, makes a home look a little more yes. interesting. And I think and what was so innovative flat. about this product from Eldorado Stone was kind of the linear slender cuts mm -hmm. of everything that they're, yeah, that they were showing. The big, yeah. yeah, so cool. Yeah. So cool. And these are the things when, you know, where when we talk about travel, pay attention. If you go into a really nice hotel or you go into the bathroom or you go to a really nice restaurant, these are kind of the things that you, that you always see, see a lot of right? textured walls. Very, very important in just bringing a space to life because, yeah, they get flat real quick. So um, Russ is showing it up on the screen so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's just... It's so cool. That that would be really great up a fireplace wall. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Because we're not doing, you know, really mantle surrounds. Yeah. Anymore. And it's not super modern or super traditional. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a good in between. Mm -hmm. So it would yeah. look good in a bunch of different um aesthetics. Yeah. So that was a lot. That was a lot to digest, but so much goodness. And there was yeah. so much more. Yeah. Um, and if you're interested in seeing some more of this, go ahead and just type in KBIS, KBIS 2023. 
and you'll see a lot of even if you just look at images or you you'll read a lot of blogs or mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of like magazines furniture today and even you know a lot of the um, magazines will say what was what was new so you yeah it's run by the nkba which is the national kitchen and bath association so you can follow them as well and see see all the good goings on another so. thing you could do is go on to <laughs> kbiz oh, whoops KBiz 2023 Design Hounds. Mm -hmm. That's a group of designers that go and they are usually writing blogs or they're, or they're on their Instagram or whatever. You'll find probably most of the stuff there. Yeah. So that was your education for the day. All right. Let's do our quotes real quick since the timer just went off. We are already laughing at the funny yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you remember these days. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Ready? You do it. Okay. Me. When I was your age, I had to call the radio station, wait on hold for 30 minutes to request a song, then sit by my boombox for an hour with a blank cassette tape for my song to play so I could record it. Daughter says, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Once again, stash bam on Instagram. Did you, that ever, was so did you ever call in and try to win a contest? Um, of course I did. Yeah. But I mean, I lived on the floor with my boombox ready to hit play, record at the same time. Er and then, and then I'd give them to my boyfriend and be like, this made me think of you kind of thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Calling Just into the, I did, do we have a minute? Yeah. Tell this radio station story. So I'm driving into work. This is a couple months ago. And so we have in different, um, different locations have the Burt show, which is kind of like the, um, the DJs, there's I think four of them, and they're always talking about different things. I always have people calling in about stuff, and there would never be any reason for me to call in. But they start talking about things on TV and how they're portrayed versus what is in real life. So he's like, if there's any, you know, doctors or nurses, yeah, like a doctor's going to call into a mm -hmm. radio station. Um, you know, in, in Grey's Anatomy, like, are they doing it right? You know, like the home shows. I was like, oh my God, I have to call in. <laughs> never thought I'd get through. <laughs> I call in and I hear, yes, you're the next caller. <laughs> I'm driving. Oh, so I was like, well, I'm an interior designer. And when you watch HGTV, you know, the budgets are nothing what they seem. And they're like, oh, yeah, we know about that. So anyway, I, I got on the radio and it all happened so fast. And then late. I can't believe you didn't crash your car. Then you could hear it later. My daughter's like, oh, my God, I can't believe you called into the bird show. <laughs> Oh, hey, we're pros from when we were right. teens. Come on. Can, can I can I jump in here? Because no, I don't know. Russ was a DJ. I, I don't know if you, yeah, you, I used to be a radio personality. And all of those times in half hour increments that you would request a song and wait, and your song came on, the only reason your song came on, it was probably because it was a hit song and it was coming up in the rotation anyway because we no. were not allowed to skew from what was on the list of things to play unless we had an all request show so whenever you would hear those callers call in and say hey can i hear i don't know staying alive by the Bee Gees," it was coming on anyway so we had that phone call recorded and then when the song was coming up that's when we would play the caller requesting now, the song. I refuse to believe that because growing up in Princeton, New Jersey, I know that WPST and PLJ were waiting for my request and they played it because I asked for Madonna or Cyndi Lauper or whoever it was in the 80s. So All don't burst my bubble. All songs that were coming up in the playlist anyway, but I'll let you, I'll let you, I'll let you have that. Back to Thanks, your show. Russ. Thanks. Okay, back to the serious quote. And then I have more. I have something else for you, Russ. Okay, even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. That's a good one. Right? And this is from Pete Tamillo. You got to follow him on Instagram. He's got great, like, what words is of wisdom. I don't know. I just love everything he says, son. Okay. He posts on his wall. So, okay. so, yeah. So, I was thinking we have some quickly. We're running out of time, but we've got a few educational things to, to remind you of. And I was thinking of, you know, in Greece when um, the lady announcer would come on and it would go ding, 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 ding. ding. Mm -hmm. um, I think we need that at the end of the show, Russ, so that we, when we come on to say like announcements, it can be, <laughs> yes. it can be like Greece. And, can you pull that up, please? He'll okay, work thanks. on it. He's a, you know, he probably yeah. get it right at his fingertips. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. So I just want to remind you guys that. Okay. Insider's tour. Don't forget to go register for High Point Market yes. for April and go to highpointmarket.org. Look for the Insider's Tour if you're new to High Point and sign up for our tour. Yes. It'll be amazing. If and there's you, only 15 slots open. for. Yeah. And, and I think 
Five are already taken. Okay. Well, it'll be more by the time this airs. Yeah. So. Um, another thing is, if you're just finding us and you're not a regular listener, we've just celebrated our five-year anniversary. So episode one will really tell you mm -hmm. All of our, you know, our backgrounds, all about why we started this podcast. I think it's a really good one. So if you don't really know much about us or have seen much, listen to episode one. It'll yes. kind of give you um, a little scoop on yes. our deal. And then go to candrack com <laughs> and see all that we do in the design world. So, yes. Yes. Thank you to High Point Market. Yes. For Thanks, guys. This. We love High Point Market. And stay tuned for, oh, we have, um, our next guest is going to should we okay yeah it's going to be um a magazine editor who we're yes. going to get some good information we're about from to be published in a big way yeah. watch out yeah. april march and april here it comes yeah yeah thanks for listening everybody have a great day bye join joanne and kelly for a new episode every other friday as they continue to explore the nuances of the interior design business with the goal of informing inspiring and entertaining their listeners. See their work at candrack colcom and engage with them on Facebook and Instagram at Candrack Cole.